Yo, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about uh, games coming out next year, a video game uh, coming from uh, NetherRealm Studios, used to be uh, Midway and all that, basically is going to be called Injustice Gods Among Us. If you guys have not heard about the game or what it's going to be, is it's basically a fighting game similar to Mortal Kombat or Mortal Kombat vs. Uh, DC, which came out uh, a couple years back. DC Universe it was called. I actually have a copy of it uh, right here. And I want to get my thoughts on uh, Injustice Gods Among Us. This is a copy of uh, the other game that came out a few years back. Uh, actually, that was... <laughs> That was a while ago now, wasn't it? Jeez, man, time just flies like crazy when you're busy. Um, but anyway, I love uh, fighting games that feature comic book characters. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom, the whole series, especially Marvel vs. Capcom 2, not 3, 2, and not 1 either, 2, is probably my favorite fighting game of all time. Just because of the character roster, because of the... Um, you know, the number of Marvel characters that they were able to get into one fighting game I thought was just stellar. Now, this game, they've just announced another character for it, which is uh, Green Arrow. I'll put the trailer for Green Arrow in the description. And he does look really cool, and the game itself looks really good. It looks a lot like the Mortal Kombat game that just came out uh, last year or about a year and a half ago, roughly. Uh, and it's good. this game's going to be featuring the, uh, the Unreal 3 engine. And uh, it should be pretty similar to how Mortal Kombat was, as well as um, you know, verse, Mortal Kombat versus uh, DC Universe. So the characters they've announced so far are going to be um, Batman, Catwoman, Cyborg, uh, The Flash, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Harley Quinn, The Joker, of course, Nightwing, Solomon Grundy, who's pretty cool, uh, Superman, and Wonder Woman. So, I mean, that's most of your, you know, core Justice League members there. Uh, obviously, you can't release a DC game without having, you know, Batman, Superman. Uh, Nightwing's a good choice because, you know, he's one of the most famous uh, characters in DC Universe. Uh, Catwoman's a good choice being the uh, most popular or voted the sexiest comic book uh, character there is. Uh, obviously. The Flash, huge character. Cyborg, now he's in the New 52 of the Justice League, so he's huge now too. Green Arrow's always been big. Green Lantern, obviously, is humongous with Blackest Night, the movie, and everything that happened with him. So he's a good choice. Harley Quinn, can never go wrong with that. The Joker, you have to have the Joker if you're going to have a DC Universe game. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Grundy, he's a great character. A lot of people don't know too much about him, but he's definitely one of the bigger characters in DC. And Wonder Woman, of course, have to have her in there too. So how many characters are going to be in the game? I've heard there's supposed to be around 20, and there will be some DLC, like costumes and stuff, for the characters. Um, but we won't know until it actually comes out. It's supposed to come out in April, April 2013. So we'll see what happens and if they're able to get, you know, a lot of characters in the game. So far they've announced 12, which, you know, compared to something like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, where we got to see, what was it, 56 characters? You know, it's just amazing. Now, yes, I know that was because they had a lot of the, uh, the sprites and the animations for those characters from other games, and they just took them and put them all in together. Capcom did. Um, but still with this game, too, I think that companies, when it comes to fighting games, if you don't have at least a good solid number, like maybe around 20 to 30 characters, the game just doesn't have enough to keep me interested for long enough. You know, I'll play each character once or twice, maybe. But then after that, you know, kind of, I just kind of fizzle out on. So hopefully they announce, you know, another good 10 to 12 characters in the game. We get to see a lot of other characters uh, from DC Universe. Some obvious ones would be probably going to want to have Darkseid. Um, Bane would be a great choice. Bane would be awesome, especially with the movie coming out uh, just last year. Um, maybe some other Superman villains, Superman characters. I mean, there's lots of other choices. Maybe Gentleman Ghost, he'd be fun. Uh, somebody like maybe Two-Face, Deathstroke. I mean, there's there's lots of other choices, too, um, they can go with for more characters. So hopefully the game gets over 20 and maybe closer to, uh, to 30 characters, even though they might not have time to get that many in. But uh, either way, I'm stoked for the game. I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to get it. Can't wait to play it. Uh, I'll put a bunch of trailers in the description for you guys to check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. Another thing I wanted to touch on was that I think that... Um, one versus one fighting games nowadays. I I like tag fighting games better. Like I like when you can have like you can choose two 
or with Marvel vs. Capcom 2, they went with three, which I thought actually worked really, really well. Some people don't like it because they think it's kind of chaotic when you have three characters on each side. But I like it because then, especially with comic book characters, it's like you're choosing a team almost. You know, if you get three characters and you choose three, the other guy chooses three, and then you go at it. Um, it just it feels more like a team battle, you know, like you could have like sort of like the core members of the Justice League versus maybe the Injustice League or the Legion of Doom or, you know, whatever, whatever team you want to go with. So anyway, um, so far the game looks great. Can't wait to see how many more characters they get in it. But if they're not able to get it over like 15 characters, I'll probably drop out of it. I probably won't buy it. But otherwise, the game looks great. Um, all the trailers look cool. Graphics are awesome. That's pretty much all I got to say about uh, Injustice. Uh, Gods Among Us looks awesome. Can't wait to play it. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev. Stay in peace.